Can you tell us what's the latest situation there in Mamalodi? Apparently there was a standoff with police and taxi operators. Well, good morning, Elvis. Uh, yes, certainly. Since very early this morning, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the area where the Patco bus depot is situated here in um, the east of uh, Mamilodi has been uh, a little bit of a, 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 a tense situation as a lot of taxi owners, taxi drivers have converged here outside the uh, Patco bus depot demanding answers from government. Uh, they say they have been promised to take over uh, this uh, depot to also take over the routes that uh, the Patco buses used to utilize here in Mamilodi. But they say now it seems as if government is not meeting that promise as they have just learned a couple of days ago uh, that another bus company under the wing of Prasa will be taking over the services that were provided by Patco and of course those uh, bus route, uh, routes. But of course you would imagine that uh, the the situation that has played out since early this morning has left a lot of commuters stranded and i am now joined by some of the commuters who also have their views on the whole situation and who also feel that uh, they have an input on how the whole situation should be resolved um, let's just speak to some of the commuters and feel how are they affected by this uh, good morning mama you are one of the commuters that have been affected and uh, you have concerns can you just share with us how do you feel yes mom and lady we we, we, we feel for as the commuters we are not taking us serious because of now we don't have a, 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 a transport like a, a Erasmus Luf and Harangkuas. It's a lot of money to go that side. Ho, 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 a catch. Mm. So now we are stuck. Okay. Uh, we don't have a transport. Okay, let's just speak to another commuter. Mama, just come closer. Just step into so you can speak to us. You mentioned something very interesting earlier. You, you talked about uh, the taxi fares uh, versus uh, the bus fare. You said you use a monthly ticket and you feel that the whole situation might affect your pocket very badly. Just share that with us. Yes, ma'am. It's going to affect me very bad because I spend 500 rand a monthly to go to work, a monthly ticket. So the taxi will cost me a 1,000 something. I don't have that money. I don't earn a more money at work. Yes. Okay. So that's my problem. Okay. And you also spoke about the safety issue. Yes. The bus are safe. The bus are safe, safe. I'm ready to, to operate with the bus. I'm ready. The taxi are running over, you see. I didn't get any problem with the bus, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Now, since what time have you been sitting outside this depot? From half past five, I was here yeah. at depot. Half past five, I was I... here at depot, yes. And you could not go to work. And uh, what's, what's the way forward? What do you think is going to happen now? I don't know, ma'am. I'm just waiting to hear what is going to happen tomorrow. Because today I'm absent. I was supposed to be at work at this time. So I called my boss there that I'm stuck here at the depot. And then they said, solve your problem there. And then we'll see you tomorrow. So that is why I'm here. I want to hear what is going to happen for tomorrow. Today I want to hear the answers. What is going to happen? The bus are going to operate or the taxis? We don't know nothing. Okay. They just told us that the bus is going to operate. In. So we waited at the bus stop, nothing happened. Okay. Yes, okay. we are very sad. Uh, let's just speak to you as well to hear what your views are. Um, some of you mentioned earlier that you feel that if the taxi industry takes over the bus routes, mm -hmm. that maybe some financial agreement mm -hmm. should be met with the commuters. Maybe you guys should have coupons or something of the sort. How do you feel about that? Oh, I feel very bad because of the taxi fare is very expensive so we buy the coupon but the part call last night they told us this morning we are going to have the transport so they told about the fare is going to be the same that we pay from yesterday so even the taxi owners they didn't tell anything now we are waiting for answers they say they're going to court since when you are going to stand here i was here till half past five in the morning but still i'm still waiting for the answers so we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow now if the situation continue for the rest of the week is there another plan that you can make so that you get to work another plan the alternative plan we can make is the taxi so we don't know that the money where is coming to come from 
because of the alternative transport is taxi. So they must leave us with their buses and resolve their issues on top there so that we can go to work. As some of you have also mentioned that you are fearing for your lives. Mm -hmm. You have been threatened. Um, if ever you guys utilize these new buses that you might be attacked. Yeah, some of the taxi drivers and taxi owners, they say, if we are going to get on those buses, we are not safe because of they're going to broke those buses and maybe who knows they can shoot us because of they use their guns to shoot people so that they can resolve their own problems. All right. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your opinions with us. Well, Elvis, there you hear it from uh, many of the commuters who have been left stranded as a result of uh, unresolved issues, it seems, between the Department of Transport and the local taxi industry here in Mamilodi. Of course, a lot of the commuters you have heard sharing their opinions, saying that if the taxi industry does take over, some sort of financial solution needs to be met to make sure that they are also accommodated as they cannot um, afford the expensive taxi fares and of course uh, the taxi owners also feel that the Department of Transport needs to find a way to subsidize them and empower them as they have been in the in industry uh, for years now it's been 21 years of democracy and they feel they are still not taken seriously and uh, this is their livelihood they need the money and they feel that it is unnecessary to bring in a new bus operating system while they are here while they can provide a transport system but of course the issue of safety and how feasible it is for the taxi industry to take over the bus routes in the area that remains a big question that I see many don't have the answers to Patricia thank you so much for that update that was our reporter Patricia Fasahi in Mamalodi updating us about the standoff between taxi operators and auto packs bus drivers in Mamalodi outside Pretoria.